Welcome to Beyond Our Focus. I'm Stefan, this is Amanda, and this is Breaking Prisms. Where we go over the Twilight Zone and Black Mirror. Right now, it is the Twilight Zone episode 9 of season 1 of the new Twilight Zone, 2019. Today is... May 28th. May 28th. <laughs> we got there. We did it. Yes. That's easy to say. Um, there is one more episode of Twilight Zone of 2019, this season. The last episode looks pretty, pretty interesting. We've only seen the trailer for it. It looks very, very interesting. Good old Seth Rogen and... Highish hopes. Little, yeah. Little hopes. I have little hopes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this season's been... It, it literally, one million percent, has been a roller coaster. Can we make it? I feel like a couple of that the roller coaster parts almost tanked us to the ground. Okay. Well, well I mean, there was there was pretty good. There was pretty good high. There was an incredible low, and then it's just been going up and down a lot. And we've kind of leveled out here in the last couple. I feel so. I like the end on a high note. So I'm really hoping good for the next episode. The name of this episode was the Blue Scorpion. It, is, was that warrant of a ooh? mystical? Mi- mystical, huh? Mm-hmm. Blue Scorpion screams mystical. Yes. Okay. Sure. The episode definitely has some fantasy things to it. Very interesting. So, premise. Main character named Jeff. Fafa. Played by Chris O'Dowd. Most of I I fondly know him as Roy from the IT Crowd because I love the IT Crowd. Okay. And I've seen him in stuff. <laughs> so I, <laughs> he's been in things. Um, uh, is, obtains a gun with a blue scorpion and starts obsessing over it. Pretty much. That's yeah. kind of the, the premise here. There's a lot of other little minuscule school things and plot points and stuff. But that's the overall. Chica, chica. Yeah, lots of those, lots of those, lots of them. So. What do, we, what do we think about this one? What are we thinking? Overall, I enjoyed this episode as far as I was able to watch it and be just enthralled watching it from beginning to almost end. I would I would agree. The bad thing is, like all episodes in here, they have a social commentary that they like to push in episodes and... Even before the episode again, now as always, we said in the last episode too. Now it's just it's looked for, which kind of sucks that now we're looking for a social commentary. Uh, this one was like, oh, you're like, oh, watch it be about gun control because there's a gun in it, and well, we went to the episode, kind of forgot about that, which was a good thing. Actually, got through ninety five percent of the episode, and it's like, this has been really good. And then right at the end, they're like. <laughs> Bet you didn't know it was about gun control. Ha <laughs> ha! It's like, oh, why, why, why do that right at the end? God, you were. And, and and well, I guess I don't know. It's it's like the good, 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 and then you cringy. It's like cringy, and then bam, and you're like, well, now that makes what we just watched ten times cringier. And that's the issue. If if it would just kept on the exact same note it was going the whole episode could have came out of it with a just like that was really cool really well done i i enjoyed it but it ended it on a sour note if they would even started it on maybe slight sour note and then the rest of it was fine probably could have been fine because at least i wouldn't have i would have uh, not ended it would be like oh why'd you do that why couldn't you just left well enough alone and they just they didn't and that was the issue that's really my only issue with the episode. I think it's still really well done. I mean, once you definitely know it's about gun control, there's definitely some things you can look back like, oh, yeah, okay, well, this... Yeah, the, it was a lot more subtle than most of the... It's a lot more subtle than all the other issues we've had uh, issues with, other than the ending. The ending was the only part that, like, hey, just in case you didn't know. But, I mean, like, a, what, a 43-minute episode? And the last... Two, two, to maybe two minutes of the episode. Yeah, literally, that literally happens in like the last yeah, two, it's, it's, three minutes. Like, yeah, it, yeah, it wasn't long. The okay. very, very end. So they you, just decided to remind you. You get a decent forty minutes of a show. 
And yep. So it's like, yeah, it was definitely worth watching. Definitely. No, no this was this was a uh, better, well done than the than whew, it's hard to remember the names of the episode. Replay Wonderkind. What I keep forget, it's Wonderkind? I always forget about Replay Wonderkind. Uh, not all no men. men and Point of Origin. Yes. Which Point of Origin was our last one, and it was one of the that was before this one. That was the one we had the least issues with. Yes. There was definitely some very heavy-handed yes. moments in the episode. It was like, ooh, come on, can we just get past this? But as a whole, we really enjoyed it. Yeah. And I think this one kind of is like, oh, we really enjoyed it up until the end. Yeah, this one, it, this one, it kind of smoothed over everything. Like it felt very Twilight Zone yes. because it, it, the original, like the traditional Twilight Zone. Yes, they hit topics that were going on at that time that it was created, but they did it in such a, I don't know, like story, like a really well written story. Yes, it felt natural, it felt normal, it felt it was beating of the head. And then for the most part, this did a really good well job. That's why I wish the ending wouldn't have been done the way it was. It could have been done so well, so different, so anything. When we get the spoilers, I won't explain what I would like to have liked to have ended. Anyway, let's score it and move into spoilers real quick. Sadly, we have lost two of our coops. I would totally million percent agree. Three Except out of movie. five. Yes. Well done episode. Didn't end well. But as a whole, even though the last episode was more heavy-handed, I personally enjoyed the last episode more. I liked the little more more science fiction route they kind of went with the last episode, more so than I in this one. Me personally. I have no preference. Psst. Psst. Moving into spoilers. Okay. Moving into spoilers. Click away or continue onward for the next five or six minutes as we jump into. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right. How I would have liked to see it ended was the kids we saw at the end watch them walk up with the fishing poles and cast the reel and end there. And him just have some. You see, they pan over and Jordan Pill staying on the beach and he makes some speech that wasn't the one he made and it could have been that way. And I could have been completely fine with that. It would have been cool if he had the gun. No, no, no. We've only had him holding one thing, and that was ice cream. We don't need anything else. <laughs> uh, he's like, oh, here, little kids. Here's the blue scorpion. Oh, no, jeez. <laughs> so I, I would have been more fine with that, because that would have that been more subtle. Just having the kids with the fishing pole go fishing and not actually show the gun washed up on shore and them playing with it after putting the bullet in it. And then you hear the Jumanji noises. <laughs> like, doo, 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 doo. So, and maybe Jordan Pill not a bluntly say it was completely about gun control. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, good old, good old Jeff Jeff fa fa But it was a good episode overall. We got good old Jeff. We got uh, Jeff meeting all the other Jeffs, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. What made this episode Twilight Zoning was really cool. The gun kind of being its own personality. The gun it was being afraid of the dark. Afraid of the dark. It had a legend behind it. The blue scorpion is worth thing. Anybody who got wind of the blue scorpion and knew about it was kind of obsessed with this this mystical gun. The basically whoever touched it first or whatever their name got put on it. But then you start seeing a lot of people with your same name, and apparently, you either kill you or you kill one of them to break the curse. It's weird because it's like one of the main, like one of the core things that happened was his father, which happens in like the first two minutes, is he kills himself. You don't see it, but his, uh, Jeff finds his father dead and his suicide note says, I love you more than him. And yet later on in the episode, when Jeff has become obsessed with it, he screams at his wife. I love him way more than I ever loved you. And so I think that's where kind of the a choice thing came in, where it was like, but except I don't know who the other Otis were like, could he not find anybody with his name? <laughs> well, the thing is, you can see that he had got obsessed. Yeah. And he had no intention of killing the guy he killed. Yeah. It was, still, it was a thing into itself. I don't know. The thing is, you, you assume his father went through different emotions, different things. He maybe was slightly depressed. 
So maybe it did lead it more obsessed on maybe killing himself. And that actually eventually led to him killing himself versus killing someone else. Where he was obsessed with his divorce and these other Jeffs and the guy and all that. So it led that go more outward than inward on him. Yeah. I don't know. It's just the note difference. So, but like I said, enjoyed it. Liked it. There are some cool scenes, some cool fun moments. When you look at it more with the social commentary they threw on there, it's like, okay, well, I enjoy it less now. Well, uh, of course. I mean, it's like, obviously, you know, him sitting there playing with the gun like it's a toy, like he thinks he's all cool and stuff like that. Shooting it in different ways and trying to be all... Guns make you cool. Guns make you cool. And then, of course... Um, like, even at the very beginning when he goes into the, his wife's house to pick up the mail and stuff, and she pulls a gun on him, and he's like, what are you doing with that? And she's like, well, I live alone. Mm -hmm. And, of course, she doesn't know how to use it. Nope. Which is just another, oh, oh well, look, not everyone could... has a, not everyone knows how to use a gun that owns one. So. Exactly. You could shoot innocent people who might break into your home or your husband. Oh, kids might play with it. Or, oh, all guns are meant to have to kill people. That's what they're going to do. Or. <laughs> but overall, even from the beginning, watching the trailer and going, hey, it's about gun control, was not thinking about that the entire episode. Chris O'Dowd did amazing. You, he kept it. He was able to play both the serious character and he made you chuckle at times because that's just who he is. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you just forget, forget, forget. And then, of course, it shows the kids getting the gun. And you're like, ugh, why? And then, of course, his line about how when you value objects more than people. Yes. And then, and like, same. Why? Why? But, I mean, I get it. This whole season, or I, we haven't seen social commentary in every episode. Apparently, other people have had bigger yes, issues than it's, we it's have. It's apparently a little bit more vague in other episodes, or more of a guessing game, which that's what I like. That's yes, when it's, that's fine. It Even this episode discussion. could have been more fine. The ending hurt me a little bit. Yeah. Yes, they had they had uh, something they wanted to say. They said it. I may not agree with it, but they did say it. But I have the issue with the ending being so heavy handed. Versus the rest of the episode, which was actually really well done. Yes. Oh yeah. So the I, I think it's better when the episodes lead to discussion. It's kind of like the picture on the wall that one person sees it one way, another person sees it another way, and they discuss it. Yes. That's Instead better. of this is exactly what we want you to see. The best discussion episode was a traveler. Yes. That, that's the one I one of the. One, <laughs> Keep looking back on it. There's some interesting choices they made, but I really like that episode. Yes. It but led us to a lot of different places as far as opinions. It did. It did. And one of the best comments I've seen in the comment section. So, <laughs> oh, any final thoughts before we just jump on out of here? I suggest you watch it. It's Don't think about the gun control stuff. Don't think about anything. Just go into it. Watching a Twilight Zone episode, and well, I see, think you'll enjoy it. Now that we've mentioned it, it's there. It's there. It's already I done. I know, but still, we did the same thing right before we watched I it. I know, but we've talked about it. And if you watched a review on it that we talked about it, you you can't just go into the episode and like, nah, we'll forget all that. we we'll forget that review I just watched. Well, you're not supposed to be in this section yet. And we still, I think we mentioned you're it. You're supposed to end with the spoilers. We, we still mentioned it you before we it. got to the spoilers. Goodbye. Anyway, like we said, three out of five companion cubes. We did enjoy it. Um, but as always, you can reach me at Stars Untraveled. Reach a man at KZ. Pup, reach the show at Beyond Our Focus. Practically anywhere, including YouTube and podcast services around the globe. Maybe. Maybe. But I believe that is it. Awesome. Possum. Blossom. Till next time. In the final episode. Not of, well, of, not of our show. That's still going. That's still going to go. We're going to, after next week, we're jumping back into the Black Mirror because it's airing the very next week after this episode. So season five will be out June 5th. And our episode, our review of that episode, our episode one will come out the Tuesday after that. 
It'll be six days later. So like June 11th, I think. Something like that. That seems roughly right. We're going to go with that. So, again, till next time. Long days and pleasant nights.